mean that Jesus was causing something, but it doesn't mean that Jesus would apply that. Why would he tell anyone that? If it's not applicable 1400 years after, why would he even mention it? Makes no sense. The only logical understanding is that it's still applied. What I'm trying to say is that either you follow God's law or you follow your own whims and desires. From this discussion, it seems like you want to follow your desires rather than God's law. See what I mean? For example, I saw that uh, rainbow thing on your, I'm assuming you support the LGBT. Yes. What do you think the church thinks about them? I think that the church No, I'm not saying what you should think. I'm asking what do they think? I think that they think that they are sons of God. Really? And that they are lost. And they, of course, they, you could, they couldn't have a marriage per se, but I don't believe that any Christian would, uh, any Christian as in follower of the law, of the of Christ message would... Uh, would uh, go against that. I mean, I have friends who are Catholics and are homosexual. Yeah, but you're, you're looking again from a, from a secular point of view, not from a religious point of view. See what I mean? Yeah, so when you, start, when you keep saying, I, look, I got yeah, Catholic friends and they agree with LGBT, then you're saying that they are also following a secular, liberal point of view rather than from a theology, theological yeah, point of view. See what I mean? Yeah, are liberals. And They're liberals, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not as a, uh, not as a theologist. I'm so I mean What, what, are, what we are, we I are think you need to you, you need to clearly state what your point of view is. If it's liberal and secular, then that is your point of view. Yeah. If it's from a Bible, from a theological point of view, then that's your view. You cannot mix the two. If you, if you mix the two, then it looks contradictory. For example, when you said, and I was kind of shocked, when you said the law in the Old Testament was wrong, you know, you're basically saying Jesus was wrong. Because Jesus is also the God of the Old Testament, according to even the Trinitarians. See what I mean? But I'm saying that so you're, you're contradicting your own God. I understand. Yeah. But I'm saying that the, old, the law of the Old Testament was, was I mean, to be, to be like reinterpreted. I mean, it was like historically in that moment, apparently they, they had those laws and those traditions, but then the human can, I mean, just, just change, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's also about, I mean, it's also with the, with uh, not, not eating big, uh, uh, for instance. I mean, why shouldn't you in the Bible, in the Old Testament, they weren't eating pig, but of course, I mean, the pig... No, I think they allowed... Oh, you mean the pork, yeah, okay. The pork, that's right. Yeah. Where, I mean, were maybe, like, dirty and so on, and they were bringing uh, diseases, so of course they were telling them not to eat them, because there was an historical reason for something. But that wasn't the... That was not the reason they gave for not eating. They said the reason is because God told them not to eat. Yeah, okay, but why God told them not to eat them? Did Jesus eat pork? I don't know, I'm asking. He did not. He was born that was the New Testament, according to you, God changed the law. So even Jesus did not eat, even in the new law. I'm saying that Jesus was there a thousand years ago, so... Two thousand, yeah? So... The culture... By the way, it wasn't... But the message is not. It wasn't just pork. They were not allowed to eat many things, like even the fat of the oxen and so on. So, you know, this is uh, one of the things I wanted to show you in the New Testament, because you... I'm pretty sure you don't want, you don't like the Old Testament because of all the harsh laws and so on. What about this New Testament in which Jesus is actually pointing to the Old Testament? Now, if the Old Testament was irrelevant, then why would he point it, point to the Old Testament? Uh, for example, where he says, this is Matthew uh, 15, number, verse number 3. So Jesus replied, to, this is, he's speaking to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. So then some Pharisees, I'm reading from uh, verse number one, yeah? Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? 
they don't wash their hands before they eat. So Jesus replied, And why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their mother and father or mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God. They are not to honor their father or mother with it. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about it. So Jesus is saying that the command of law is that if anyone curses their mother or father, they shall be put to death. So Jesus on one hand says not to stone the prostitute, but on the other hand he says to stone to death those who curse their parents. What do you make of that? He's also saying do not kill anyone, right? So is that a No, the Ten Commandments, Old Testament, not New Testament. So this is from the New Testament. Matthew 15, 3 and 4. So what do you make of that? Jesus is telling anyone who curses their mother or father. By the way, he's quoting the Old Testament, but he's applying it in the New Testament time, during his time, which is nearly 1400 years after Moses. Yes? So even 1400 years after Moses, he's still quoting the Old Testament because for him it still applies that law for the, that anyone who curses the mother or father shall be put to death. What do you make of that? I mean, they were educated in a way, right? But I, I mean, how does he... How does Would you consider it as right or wrong? Let's put it this way first. Let's try to... Simplify it. Anyone who curses a parent, stoning them to death, or putting them to death, however, whatever method, is that right or wrong according to your worldview? According to my view, it's wrong. And it it's wrong? Mean, it doesn't mean that I'm disagreeing with Jesus. It just means that Jesus was quoting something, but it doesn't mean that Jesus would apply that. Why would he tell anyone that? If it's not applicable 1400 years after, why would he even mention it? Makes no sense. The only logical understanding is that it's still applied. And that's the reason he was rebuking them. That you're calling my disciples who don't wash their hands as something going against the law of God. Yes? Whereas you yourself are doing the same thing. You hypocrite. He calls them hypocrites. These Pharisees and these teachers of righteousness. Yes? But they all... No, no, they were saying, they were saying exactly. that they are not washing their hands. Exactly. So the reply of Jesus was not, oh, you're right, they should wash their hands. The reply of Jesus was, yeah, okay, you're telling them that they are wrong, but they're also wrong if you're following your own law. So he is not saying that. No, no, he didn't say your own law. He said this was a command of God. Yeah, okay, but he's not saying. He's not saying your law. He's saying this is a command of God that anyone who curses their mother or father shall be put to death. So imagine this, you didn't wash your hands. Yes, the Pharisees come and say, oh, look at this girl, she didn't wash her hands before she ate. And she's breaking the law. Yes, Jesus, they go and complain to Jesus. Jesus tells them, you're doing the same thing. In fact, you're doing something even worse. Yes, yes? what is the worst thing? That God told you that anyone who curses the mother or father shall be put to death. But you don't do that. And you try to twist the meaning of that. Because this is what the Pharisees did. When God told them to do something, they will twist the meaning of it. But then Jesus rebukes them as hypocrites. That you are not practicing what you are preaching. Exactly. See what I mean? Look, the main point I am trying to make, convey here is that even in the New Testament, Jesus talks about killing children. Yes? 